The first person diagnosed with Ebola in the United States has died. Thomas Duncan, who caught the virus in Liberia before flying to Texas, was being treated with an experimental drug in isolation rather, at a Dallas hospital. His case has heightened alert levels in the U.S. about the deadly virus. Meanwhile, a new report from the World Bank Group shows that the two-year regional financial impact of Ebola could reach $32.6 billion by the end of 2015 if the outbreak isn't contained. The report says the total could be even higher if action isn't taken to alleviate the fear factor that could force countries to close borders, airlines, and suspend various commercial activities. The deadliest outbreak of Ebola the world has ever seen has killed more than 3,800 people so far, most of them in Liberia, Sierra Leone, and Guinea.